Hello, I'm Ollie. This is Criminally, where I talk about crime, pulp, horror, that kind of thing. Today, I guess it's horror, um, or maybe crime. I'm going to talk about the book Confessions by Kane Minato. So this is a Japanese novel that was originally published in 2008 and I think first translated into English in about 2014. Um, and it was hugely successful in Japan when it came out. So it was the debut novel for the, for the author, Kane Minato. Um, and it, I think it, by, by the sound of it, it, it kind of, it, there was a real buzz around it in Japan. And I can understand why, because it's, it's very good. Um, it's a book that I hadn't heard about um, before until it was recommended to me, um, I think by, first of all, by one at Played by Visions. Um, on his recommendation, I, I bought it, um, and I'm very glad I did, because it, it was great. Um, I think it was also filmed, so people in the comments on, on some of my videos have said it was filmed in 2010 as well. And I think the movie version is, is supposed to be quite good as well. Um, but yeah, it's a genuinely, uh, the, the reason I wavered in the in the intro about whether it was horror or crime is, it, it's basically a crime story, but it's very, very disturbing. <laughs> Um, which gives it the feel of a horror novel, even though it's not really a horror novel. Um, so it's about a, a teacher. Um, and the, the first uh, part of the book, the first cha like extended chapter of the book, is this monologue from this teacher talking to her class um, and basically saying to her class that she believes that two of the uh, pupils in the class murdered her daughter. Um, so it's a stellar opening. It's, you know, immediately attention grabbing opening um, and, and the book develops brilliantly from there. Um, so each of the subsequent parts are told from the perspective of a different character. Um, so all characters related to this, you know, the, the murder of this, this teacher's daughter. Um, and you see through these different characters, um, you know, the, the effect that that crime has had. Um, you you get to see it from the um, you know the perspective of the the assumed perpetrators, um, as well as as well as other characters, so like classmates and things like that. I think there's five or six different sections, each from a different viewpoint, um, and um, you know it gradually builds up, and you gradually understand more and more about what's been going on. Um, and it's a book that that makes you work a bit. Um, so there were some bits when when I started a new section I, at first I was struggling to figure out who it was you know which character it was I was I was listening to um, and had to you know kind of check back um, but I didn't mind that because it it's it's really gripping stuff um, and as I say they're kind of the the disturbing nature of it builds and builds and builds I mean the first chapter is disturbing enough but as you understand as a reader more and more about what's been going on to these various characters and, and why why this crime happened and, and, the, and the exact nature of the crime as well um, it becomes increasing increasingly disturbing and really quite chilling it's not you know it's not scary it's just horrible because there's whilst it's um whilst it's definitely a mystery and there are definitely kind of tricks and things like that in within the book it does feel quite credible um and there's a lot of discuss, discussion in it of japanese society and um, particularly this concept of and I, I forget the japanese word for it and i'm sure i'm just mis mispronounce it anyway but of, of young people who are just shutting themselves away from society and just like not leaving the house at all um so there's a lot of discussion of that um a lot of discussion of um attitudes to um, to HIV and AIDS, um, all sorts of stuff going on in this book, um, and all brilliantly um, tied together um, into something that you know it's not a long book; it's like two hundred and fifty pages or something like that. But it but it works. It, it feels absolutely complete. There is nothing that's missed out of this book that the author could have put in to make it better. Um, and you know anyone who's watched the ch the channel for a while would know that I'm a fan of shorter books um, anyway. Um, so this one I thought was just the perfect length. It just it's just got everything you need to build that mystery up and and give you a satisfying resolution to it, um, whilst also introducing you know interesting um, kind of commentary on 
Japanese society, as I say. Um, so it all works brilliantly. Um, it's yeah, genuinely disturbing. It's a book that since I finished reading it, I haven't stopped thinking about, um, which is unusual for me. I quite often, you know, when I finish a book, I'd move on to the next thing. But this one has definitely lingered with me. And, and it's one of those books that I think is, the more I think about it, the better I think it was. Um, so I think I think now that it's a better book than, it, than I did when I was reading it, if that makes sense, a bit of a jumbled sentence. Um, one thing I would say is, and I, I often find this with Japanese books in translation, sometimes the the language feels a little bit stilted. Um, and I don't know if that's down to the translator or or that's just the you know the style that Japanese books tend to be written in, but it doesn't read it doesn't read like a Western book which isn't a problem at all, um, and as I say, I really enjoyed it, but it's it's something to consider, and I'd, I'd be interested if other people um, have had that experience with Japanese fiction as well. Um, yeah, there's just, it, the, the prose just doesn't flow in quite the same way as, I, as I'm used to in, you know, in the majority of the books I read, um, but still very readable, um, and as I say, a fantastic mystery, um, and definitely a book that has lingered with me. So as always, um, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know um, if you've read the book um, let me know what you thought of it and um, I believe the author's got some other books out as well which are also supposed to be very good so I think I will be picking up one of those fairly soon um, but yeah as always hope you're safe and well and I will speak to you again soon cheerio